Hello everyone, Giltar here with a video that is a little different than what I've uh, normally done on my YouTube channel here. Uh, basically, I'm going to be giving a demonstration on how to use an automatic center punch in order to uh, move out a metal pin from a hinge joint. Now, uh, anybody who is involved with toy customization, specifically Transformers toy customization, may be familiar with uh, the concept of disassembling a figure or a toy into its base component parts for the purposes of prepping a uh, figure for customizing, which involves cleaning it up, uh, priming the surface, painting it, so on and so forth. Uh, now, a lot of customizers out there will disassemble parts that are either connected by friction joints, uh, ball joints, for example, or joints that are screwed in. Uh, but anything else like pin joints, they will not usually venture into disassembling because either they're not sure of how to do it or it might seem a little intimidating. Um, there are quite a few, uh, well not quite a few, but several uh, tutorials out there, um, at least a couple of which are here on YouTube, uh, display the use of a pin punch tool for, uh, as well as a hammer to force out the pin from a pin joint, a hinge joint. I've heard about the use of an automatic center punch in uh, forum threads regarding toy customization. Um, the few people that have spoken up about the use of automatic center punches have said that they work just fine. And I actually use that as well for when I disassemble my Transformers toys, for example, for customization. And the benefit of using an automatic center punch is that it only requires one hand. Whereas normally with a uh, 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 pin punch, or in some cases, some people will use a either a, a small screwdriver or a blunted nail in order to serve as that sort of uh, part of the process to force the pin out. They'll use that, but it requires two hands, one for holding the, uh, the, the punch uh, tool and the other word for holding the hammer. Uh, and then you kind of are left with the object itself that you're working on, which has to be secured by something or you just have to press down on it. And it can be a very tricky, I guess, endeavor for some people. So um, with the success that I've had with an automatic center punch, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use it and basically show you how easy it is. Now the details of going through removing a pin from a hinge joint, uh, I won't go through that here. Uh, I'll just show you how it's done because there are many tutorials out there that actually explain it. Just to briefly explain it and show you an example, this is a uh, Robots in Disguise Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper's uh, leg, its lower leg. And I don't know if you can make it out here, but this is the metal pin that has been uh, forced out. There's uh, definitely more of the pin that can come through. And at this stage, what people will normally do is they'll take uh, needle nose pliers and just basically uh, take the rest of the pin all the way out of the joint to free this part from the, the hinge sides here. Uh, and I won't show that because it's not necessary. But as you can see, at this stage, it's really easy to complete the process of removing the pin from the hinge. And then again, it allows you to completely separate parts so that you don't have to uh, sort of play around with tricky masking. You can mask it off much more easily when it is just one single part. Now I'm gonna get Cliff Jumper's other leg and I'm gonna just show you on one end, I basically will force down the, the, the automatic center punch to the point where uh, it's it's a spring-loaded uh, device where when you get to a certain point, the spring will release and force this part of the tool down in a uh, in a relatively minute but sudden and uh, sort of strong uh, release of force. And again, that will force the pin through. So just bear with me. Um, I'm using a magazine here as a surface to work on because it will absorb the impact on the other end so that hopefully it will offset any of the... Uh, I guess, pressure that this part might experience. If you were to do this on a solid surface like a wooden table, uh, it might be a little trickier, but I find with something like a magazine, uh, again, it's just it's something that has some give to it. So I'll just do that here now. And uh, as you can hear, it made a really loud sound and I'll bring this closer, but it actually forced the metal pin a little out. So I'm gonna do it again. It usually takes about four to six uh, strikes to force the pin um, to a point where it's easily removed with a uh, set of needle nose pliers. So 
So here you see the pin. So right now at this point, you could take a set of needle nose pliers and just remove the rest of the pin all the way through the hinge joint. So uh, for anybody out there who has not ever removed pins in this way, or if you have used the uh, uh, pin punch and hammer method, this is an alternative for you guys to use. I hope this is useful to anyone out there who is either currently customizing or wants to venture into the world of customizing toys and things like that. Uh, so as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you at the next video.